another question on closing. So yep. I've been doing a lot of research on, because this is super new to me. I come from a banking world. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm wondering, because we have a quota, and most doctors know that, yep. but I don't want to focus so much on the quota about money, because ultimately, if we're able to get this graft on someone's foot or eye, we could save their eyesight or them from being amputated. So my thought is, hey, doc, I'm really passionate about this because I know the you know, if I don't get this in front of 20 people or 20 patients to this month, that might be 20 lives or one life that I don't get to save. <clears throat> Does that sound like a good idea? Because kind of, sound kind of, it also sounds kind of like scripted and, and canned. What I want you to get to Joanne is, hey doc, because of the fact that you told me blank, I'd like to recommend blank. Or, hey doc, because of the fact that you said blank, I'd like to recommend this, blank. It sounds like this. You know, hey doctor, because of the fact that you told me you had a couple uh, diabetic patients with the uh, uh, foot that you, that you were unable to save, I'd like to recommend that we get the graft at your disposal so that doesn't happen in the future. Does it make sense? for me to send everything over so you have the ability to do that with the next patient in that situation. Um, yeah, sure, cool. Uh, what's, where, where do I go to make sure that we get everything and talk to Molly at my front desk. Does it make sense to get everything in place so you have this with the next patient? Uh, no, not right now. Got it. What's a good next step then? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, we just really need to think about this before we take on I get it. And, it's an important decision, but I know you, you had said that you did have some patients that um, you know, have had these issues and you haven't had the resources at your disposal. What's a good next step on my end? Uh, could you call me back next 30, Thursday? Absolutely, I'll, I'll call you Thursday, 2.30 p.m. if I haven't heard from you before then, fair enough? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I, I really appreciate it, Joanne, right? Like, it's one thing for you to say, hey, if I can get this for 20 patients, that's 20 patients' lives, which is all true, but it sounds like a commercial. But when you say, because of the fact that you said, and I would much rather have a doctor that's telling me they had one patient lose a foot two years ago, than talk in platitudes of, this could save a bunch of people's lives. Hey, because of the fact that you told me you did have that situation a couple years ago, and the last thing you wanna do is, is, is be in that position again, I'd, I'd like to recommend that we get these resources uh, at your disposal the next time that comes around. Does it make sense for us to move forward with that? And again, I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering your product and what it does, but um, that's, that's how I would do it. Because of the fact that you said blank, I'd like to recommend blank. Does it make sense to blank? Boom, there's your recipe. Sales reps, managers, business owners, entrepreneurs, what I'm about to tell you, oh, this is gonna hurt, but trust me, it will be well worth it. I want you to think back to that excitement you had when you first got started. Maybe it was your first day. You thought about all of the lives that you were gonna change with your amazing product, your business, your service, your solutions. And hey, let's be honest here, you were gonna make a lot of money in the process of helping people, helping businesses change their lives. But it didn't work out exactly that way, did it? If you're anything like me, if you're anything like most people in sales, you found it was just a little bit more difficult to close those deals than you thought, or maybe you're struggling right now. Now I warned you, this is the part that's gonna hurt, but in order for this to work, you and I need to be honest with each other. I want you to think about all the reasons that you're not hitting your targets, all the reasons you're not making the sales that you had anticipated making. Is it the economy, your competition, your territory, your pricing, maybe it's your manager, your product, your service, your solution. Here's the part that's gonna hurt. There's a 94% chance it is none of those, and it's time you face reality. The reason why you have to work so hard just to close a single deal has nothing to do with the economy, nothing to do with your competition, your territory, your manager, your product, your price, your service. The reason why it's so hard for you is you simply haven't learned a better sales process. But wait, you've had sales training from your company. Yeah, I did too. You've read some sales books. I read just about every single one of them. 
Or maybe you're saying to yourself, well, I was always born a salesperson. Nobody is born knowing how to sell more than they're born knowing how to speak Cantonese or fly an F-22 fighter jet. And by the way, the right sales process is a lot easier to learn than a language or flying an airplane, but you still have to learn it. My name is Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University. And if you'll let me coach you, I can show you how to sell more than you've ever imagined without being pushy, without being manipulative, without following some super complex system where you're spend more time trying to figure out what stage your deal is in than actually closing deals. If you will let me coach you, you will never ever, ever, ever find yourself blaming the economy, your products, your price, your manager, your territory, your competition again because you're gonna be in total control of the sales process and the outcomes. I've devoted my life to unlocking the perfect sales process and I wanna coach you the same way I've helped thousands of other people in the exact same position that you are right now sell a reported 3.47 billion, yeah, that's billion with a B, over the last 12 months. I've been where you're at right now. I know how to help you. I can show you in just a matter of minutes what will take you years of trial and error to learn on your own. Now, if you've made it this far, but you're saying to yourself, it can't be that simple. Just trying a new sales process alone will not get me to where I wanna go. I know exactly what you're feeling. I said those exact same things, and I was wrong. Having the right sales process changed absolutely everything for me. So I want you to do me and yourself this favor and spend just a minute or two over at EastonUniversity.com checking out what we've built. Now, if you spend a couple minutes and you decide that our coaching can't help you, it can't help you change everything about your career, everything about your life, no harm, no foul. You can continue to do things the way you're doing them right now. But just imagine, what if you head over to EastonUniversity.com right now and it connects with you? What if it is that simple? Suddenly everything starts to make sense and everything changes for you, your career, your income, your goals, your company. You start heading in the direction you always thought you could. Isn't it worth taking a couple minutes and seeing if that might be the case? Easton University is more than a platform. It's more than live coaching with me. It's your future and you and your future are worth it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you and I have met each other and I look forward to seeing you over at EastonUniversity.com right now.